Welcome to another edition of the D&D Morning Show. Nice intro, Drew. Thank you very much. <laughs> you did a very good job. Every, every once in a while I get a chance to introduce Dorothy's Morning Show. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> I let him come in. Oh, from time to time. <laughs> from time to time to, come to my show. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about a uh, fun fact, and that's going to be around the Amazing Race. Yes, super excited. <laughs> we're going to be talking about our main topic, which is menopause and weight gain. You're just taking right over. I am doing you, the intro. You, you, I'm doing the intro. Okay, I was going to get in there. This is my part, but... He's I'll trying just, to get... See, he's I'll trying to take let, over. I'll just let him do it. He's trying to take over the show. <laughs> then we have a recipe around breakfast. It's absolutely delicious, so you're going to want to stick around for that. And we're going to end off with a quote, aren't we? Well, that's very challenging for Dorothy now, wasn't it, Dorothy? <laughs> it's very hard not to talk, especially when you stole my segment. Yeah, I, mean, I stole your show because you talked through the whole thing. <laughs> I told him that he could do the intro and he just took the whole segment. See how she says I told him what he could do? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, let's start off with the fun fact. Drew and I uh, have decided... You may have heard through social media, but, but we um, have decided to apply for the Amazing Race Canada, which is super exciting. For Dorothy. For me. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. Kayla actually um, was the one who had tagged us and Facebook said, hey, you guys should do this. And then we got to talking and decided, yeah, I think that's a good idea. But Drew would like to tell you more about the fun fact. I can see it just buzzing in his brain. I like how she just goes over it so quick, like, oh, we just saw it in social media, and we're like, yeah, we're going to do it. Dorothy has, like, this obsession when she gets something in her mind where it's like, nothing else matters. It's every, like, only thing she talks about, the only thing she thinks about. So she started, she saw the post that Kayla put up, and we talked about it a bit. I've never actually seen the show, and Dorothy started ta telling me about it, and I was like, oh, it sounds interesting. And she started looking up the application process. And it's like... And the eligibility process. It's, it's like super in-depth and all these things. So over the last... It's not really that in-depth. Oh, it is. Over <laughs> the last few days, she's like telling me all these like just application things. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then she starts like watching snippets of, of the Amazing Race on, on the internet. Now she's like, can we watch? Can we watch like full episodes together? And I'm like, you need to take it easy. <laughs> Drew, was, Drew uh, came home the other night and I was making notes from one of the episodes. Yeah. She's getting notes down. She's like, well, what if we need notes? What if we need to do stuff? I, and I keep discussing different scenarios with Drew. Well, what if they like make us jump? I like I don't like heights. Who's going to do that? I'm not very good at heights. Who's going to do those or, challenges? Or water. What happens if there's a water one? <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not very good in the water. So uh, I was like... Then what? What is my going to be able to contribute? <laughs> so I'm trying to tell Dorothy, there's a very like there's probably millions of people or hundreds of thousands of people that apply. So I'm trying to be like, maybe it'll be fun to apply, but don't get your hopes up. She's like, we can soak it in. I'm like, we're so getting in, Drew. Come on, <laughs> let's focus. Let's do this. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So stay tuned for that one. We were watching. Yeah, we were watching one, and I've never seen one before. And I've, you know, in like intros of shows where it gives like little snippets, like little snippets, like, oh, like exciting parts. And so we're sitting there watching and it was like 10, 15 minutes in and they kept showing me snippets. And I'm like, is the show going to start anytime soon? Because <laughs> It was hilarious because we, I was into the show and, and it's like 10 minutes in and Drew's like, is this the show? And I was like, <laughs> what do you think the best 10 minutes was? <laughs> the this intro. Is, this is the show. I was like, this is the longest intro ever. <laughs> but we've been we've been having fun with that yeah more My Dorothy obsession. Than <laughs> but it, it's just who I am and whenever we do like a new workout or we get a new recipe or something new comes up that's what I do tunnel vision and I get obsessed with it it's true <laughs> all right so we're going to be talking about menopause and weight gain that's our topic for today so, this is a... Uh, Where would you like to start? Why don't you, you want to get it started since I've been talking this whole time? No, I think you can get it started. <laughs> I'll let you have this segment too. I'll just sit back. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all right. I don't mind. Just move out of the way while I get in here. <laughs> so, I think when it comes to menopause, which is a, it's a challenging time in women's life, in a, in a woman's life, and understanding that we have to 
do things in our life now that we've never done before. And by, by having that mindset of just instead of being like, oh, I've always done this before. Like, I've always done it this way. I've always cooked food this way. I've always ate this way. We have to understand that it's things of changing in our lives, our bodies changing. And for us to be able to see results or to be, even to be able to stay the same without weight gain, for example, we have to do different things. So we have to, to approach our life in different ways to get different results. So just being open to trying new things and, and changing certain things is, is the, I guess, the big message we wanted to get out to you today instead of just accepting that's the way it is. Oh, it's, it's, I'm going through menopause, I'm going to, to gain weight because that's what happens during menopause. You don't, we want to let you know, like you don't have to accept that there's things that you can do to, I guess, prevent or, or control that from happening. Um, there was something else I was going to say around that, but I Well, it's, just, it's the I same thing it. when we did a show about menopause and sleep, for example. Mm -hmm. Like, just because you're going through menopause, we shouldn't accept that we're not going to sleep mm -hmm. very well. There's things that you can do to improve your sleep. There's things that you can do to not gain weight or to lose weight, mm -hmm. regardless if it's menopause or not. Mm -hmm. So, And when we know it's it's not easy. Like, we know it's a difficult time, but we still want to know, want you to know, like, you're in control. You can control your metabolism. You can do things so to prevent. Right. And that's what we want to talk about here with metabolism. I think if we could understand metabolism a little bit differently or how to manipulate our metabolism to speed it up, then we can work towards not gaining weight during this challenging time for women. Mm -hmm. And we, we totally can. I never realized how much of a role like nutrition and exercise played in, in controlling my, my own metabolism until I did a couple of uh, fitness competitions. And that's really when I learned like, whoa, I, like, I, can, I can make these changes and it, your body, like, it's just amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of going around in circles, but I, I never realized that I was in control. Like, you know, it's, sometimes we think it's something we're born with. Oh, I, have a, I was born with a slow meta metabolism. Or, I, oh, she's lucky because she has a high metabolism. Or, you know, but mm -hmm. really, we do have the ability to make changes to, to adjust that. Right. So some of the things that we can do to increase our metabolism is start eating on a regular basis. I think like breakfast is a big one many times like, oh, I don't eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you've never ate breakfast your entire life. Well, now it's time to start eating breakfast. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that we see a lot is that people or a lot of times the, the, the issue or the challenge is that you're not eating enough food, <laughs> right? More times than not, yeah. you're not eating enough food. Mm -hmm. And we gain weight because our metabolism is so slow. We didn't, don't do anything to speed it up. Mm -hmm. So having small meals throughout the day will speed up your metabolism. Having clean meals mm -hmm. is going to speed up your metabolism, staying away from those processed, fatty, sugary types of food. And, and eating more plant-based foods. That's going to give you energy. It's going to burn off, keep our metabolism running nice and fast and strong. <laughs> Hydration is another one. Hydration can help increase your metabolism. So you want to stay hydrated throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And again, most of us, a, a large percent of it, percentage of us walking are walking around dehydrated. Yeah, no question. Mm -hmm. you're so pay attention to those liquids you're putting in your body as well as food because that plays a big role. Mm -hmm. There's tea, so you can look to a green tea to help you uh, to help your metabolism as well speed up. Give you energy too. Energy and there's also lots of benefits to green tea. Tons. Um, spicy foods. Space as well foods. will help increase your metabolism yeah. so maybe you're not a not a huge fan of spicy foods but it goes back to what drew said about trying something or doing things that you've never done before to get the results or to get what you want right mm -hmm. and then being active like that one that one goes without saying maybe we haven't been so active earlier in our life or maybe we never joined a gym or did at home workouts and now it's time i think you're when we listen to our body we have so many so much more advantage in life, I think. So now our body's telling us something like now maybe it's time to start to to get some per professionals to to get you going mm -hmm. in the right direction, to start paying attention to how active you are, how many steps you're taking. There's so many different ways that we can track and pay attention to our activity level. It doesn't have to be just the gym, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, there was one more I wanted to say, but now, oh, I wanted, did you touch on breakfast? Well, breakfast, just when we said start to have, Increase your metabolism. Oh, yeah, he did say that. 
That was yeah. in my mind to say. But you <laughs> stole it from me. Gotcha. <laughs> was there anything else around food that you wanted to mention? No, I think that was good. Yeah. A nice, a nice, I guess, because Drew had mentioned to, to eat small meals throughout the day. A nice way to do that is through smoothies as well. And you can add all kinds of things into your smoothies. Healthy fats are going to help you burn fat and keep your metabolism running. Spices like cinnamon you can throw into smoothies and that, that helps as well. So smoothies are a great way to get in an extra meal in the day, like a snack meal. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, just a quick mention about our, our product here of the week that's going to be our success journal. So this goes along with Detoxify Yourself, but you can purchase them individually if you like. But we feel that a success journal, much different than a food diary, mm -hmm. is going to be is going to kind of take your health to the next level. So if you have allergies, for example, if you have digestion issues, if you have immune system kind of issues, if you're not feeling well on a regular basis, you can track all that by paying attention to what's going in your body by using a success journal. Now we say success journal a little bit differently because in this one we have quotes in there, places to add your breakfast, lunch, dinner, your water intake. We have notes for you to add in there, how you're feeling, energy levels. Then we have quotes and even tips every day. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like we're there with you along the way. Yeah, and it's nice because it encompasses the mind as well, like helping us have a positive mind and change our mindset into, you know, something more positive. So, we have a recipe this week, do we? Yes, we do. He was very excited about that. What do we got going on? Well, since we were talking about breakfast and how important it is to jumpstart your metabolism in the morning, I would like to include or share a breakfast recipe. And it's one of our favorites. It's overnight oats. It's super simple. So, it makes it actually makes morning so much easier, too. So, if you're not used to eating breakfast, or it, like this is one of the easiest ones to get you started. So you just take a mason jar, you throw, <laughs> you throw in a half a cup of oats, and then your um, nuts, seeds, so almonds, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, sunflower seeds. sunflower seeds. You put those in there, and with some frozen berries. You can also put in some cinnamon as well. We talked about how that increases metabolism, so you can throw in there some cinnamon. You pour it, um, pour milk, like almond milk into it to cover, cover the top of the oats, pop it in the fridge overnight. In the morning, take it out, mix it up, and then you can add some sliced bananas on top or fresh fruit on top if you'd like, and that's it. You can sweeten it with a bit of maple oh, syrup yes. if you like, but usually with the berries, you probably don't need it. Cinnamon and bananas on after, but you know it's, it's, it's a transition mm -hmm. right you want to enjoy it so if you're going to add a sweetener add something a bit healthier and enjoy it and it's kind of nice too um i mean we like oatmeal but there are some some people we run into or some clients and in members and stuff that don't like the texture consistency of oatmeal because it's kind of like pasty sticky sometimes and this is nice because you you kind of avoid that that texture as well and it's fantastic. So if you're going away somewhere mm. or so if you're staying in a hotel, for example, it's a great breakfast to bring with you. If you're going to be gone for the day, you can use this as a snack meal. So you can use it between, you know, at 10 o'clock or three in the afternoon or as a lunch. Or mm -hmm. We do it all the time for early mornings as well. A lot of times when we travel, because we always make sure we get breakfast in the morning that we travel, even if it's like you know, three, four in the morning, you're going to the airport eating your overnight hours, you know? Especially the airport, because you don't know, you have to pack your food, but you don't know when the next meal is going to be. Mm -hmm. so, so breakfast is super important. Yeah. So that's it. Voila! <laughs> the recipe du jour. Oh my. Recipe of the day. All right, let's end up with a quote. <laughs> so the quote was, now I don't know if I have the words exactly right, Drew, so you might have to help me out. But this is the quote, which goes along nicely with what we were talking about today. It says, if you want different results or new results, then you have to... It's not going to work out. not going to work out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Drew, maybe you should help me out with the quote then. If you want to Some, something you've, you've never, never had, then you have to be willing to do something you've never done. That's right. Woo! <laughs> so like we were talking about with the menopause, if you want different results or you want... Um, I don't know where I'm going with that. Maybe you can help me out. <laughs> but that's what we were talking about earlier, right? Yeah, if you want different mm -hmm. results, something that we have to be willing to do something you've never done. Mm -hmm. So as we talked about, if you want to be able to 
not gain weight or if you want to be able to drop inches or lose some weight then it's important to do something like maybe you've never worked out before like we talked about it's important to start working out if you never ate breakfast before it's important to start eating breakfast yeah that's that's what i was trying to get at there <laughs> that's true <laughs> Happy to help. Thanks for jumping in there. See what I'm here for. Sometimes the brain and the mouth, it just doesn't connect for me. <laughs> I don't know what happens there. It's confused. <laughs> it's confused. Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of the D&D &D Morning Show. Thanks for coming along with us, and we'll catch you on the next show. See ya. Bye.